YXBA is back, and I'm ready to mash some more buttons. In today's video, I wanted to give my honest thoughts on Emily Rogers' latest blog post. And please keep in mind that in no way am I intending to attack her. It will be a cold day in doom before I turn this channel into another black bond. Firstly, I think we have to keep everything in perspective. Nobody is right 100% of the time when it comes to sourced information. Even if their sources are solid, sometimes plans can change. There are a lot of people out there that are saying that because Emily was right about Paper Mario coming to the Wii U, it means that she will always be right in the future. I would like to point out that before the Wii U came out, she said that Rockstar was working on a game for the Wii U and that Soul Calibur 5 would be a launch title on the system. Neither of those leaks turned out to be true and while it could easily be that plans changed, it just goes to show you have to be careful when taking one person's word as gospel. And even if they were right at the time, in the big picture, they can still end up being wrong. So I have no real reason right now to doubt her sources on this. However, it is my opinion that she may not have been asking the right questions. And it's very possible that if her blog is taken at face value, it could be very, very misleading. She has basically said that the raw specs of the NX are similar to the Xbox One in terms of power, but that the chips being used in the NX are industry leading and much more modern in the Nintendo NX. When comparing old chips to new chips, you simply aren't making an apples to apples comparison. For example, in the past four years, AMD has struggled mightily with their bulldozer CPU architecture on PC. And since it takes years to create a new CPU architecture, they have been stuck working with what they have right now. The fact is that it has a much lower instructions per second than chips by rival manufacturer Intel. To try and compensate for this, they have been hugely cranking up the clock speeds on their CPUs and have still struggled with parity in terms of processing power and they have also had problems with their CPUs being a lot less energy efficient. However, if you blindly looked at the raw specs, you would have to assume that the AMD CPUs are much better spec-wise, but in reality, they are getting destroyed by Intel in terms of performance and power consumption. The point I'm making here is that you can't just look at the raw spec numbers. Not even in a case where the architectures are of the same age, and certainly not when the NX has industry leading chips. She also said that the GPU is custom and insinuated in a vague manner that the GPU was not Polaris and laughed at the idea of a GPU not being Polaris, but being Polaris-like. This is where things, in my opinion, really start to come off the rails. What it sounds like to me is AMD has been developing a GPU together with Nintendo. This is a separate project from their work on the Polaris. But that does not mean that it can't make use of some of the modern features from Polaris and I see no reason why this would be an impossibility. It's probably not a modified Polaris chip but I do know that it is quite common for console GPUs to have modern features built in at a hardware level that are beyond what is currently available in off-the-shelf PC cards. The idea that it would be a very modern chip but not feature any new and improved features really boggles my mind. She also went on to say that the NX isn't trying to blow away 
any systems except for the Wii U. Well, that's kind of besides the point, isn't it? I think what we really want to know is whether or not it will outperform or underperform the PS4 when it comes to actual performance. Basing her blog on the ill-conceived notion that people are expecting the system to blow away the PS4 isn't doing this conversation any justice and it isn't progressing the dialogue. I still have a lot of respect for Emily Rogers and think she does a great job on a lot of things. But if this blog was designed to answer some questions we all had about the NX performance, I have to say that it failed to do so. I feel like we have more unanswered questions now than before the blog post came out. This has been Colin Unger reminding you to keep your thumbs glued to YXBA and always remember to select start. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe.